painting lesson and I'm pretty excited about this painting. Um, this is our subject and it's a photo I just took on Longbow Key Beach. And uh, this is Phil and Phil's had some painting lessons before and this is the second time here. So before we even get started, you know, we have to prepare um, our palette and that means choosing our color. So we're looking at this and if you were painting a painting, you'd have to say, yeah, there's blues, there's a little bit of reds mixed in here with the, with the green and the yellow. You always have a basic palette, usually in any subject. You know, you've got blues, you've got yellow, you've got reds, and then you add some other, you know, fancier colors or some more interesting colors, which might be some tube greens or some darks, which could be some purples. But I always start out with the big picture. Our horizon line's quite low. And um, so we're gonna just choose some blue. And so go ahead, Phil. So he's blending these colors. It's just not uh, as simple as it looks. So you can see how nicely he's got that sky blended. I have um, an earth tone, which is that um, burnt sienna, a very dark blue, which is thalo blue, a two green, hooker's green, and then I have um, Payne's gray, which we're going to put in our darks in the foreground. I have something which is really looking extremely dark, and that's great. You know, you, you want to put your light and your darks in a painting. And we're going to um, go over this and add, um, you know, the, the bushes on top of that and the sea oats. That way it'll really pop. And so we're just putting some dark colors in there. And Phil's getting, he's using the flat side, both the flat side of his brush and um, turning it up so he can make, you know, a little more detail. I finished the painting. And so this is a really good exercise because I often learned um, from looking at paintings and seeing what people did, you know, how they made it look realistic and the strokes they used and the colors they used. So that's really going to be good for Phil. So you see where we are in different stages. So Phil has changed the place of where he wanted his palm tree. And he had a palm tree real close to the frame. And believe you me, I had to move my palm trees around too because I did not like the way the composition was looking. And now he's, he's already improved the way he paints. He put a little dot at the bottom of that palm tree to guide him as far as how straight. And he was going to, and now he's holding the brush real close and going in a nice slow pace and drawing like an expert. Phil has stumbled across a, um, a description for the stroke that we're using for the palm trees and it's kind of the Goldilocks effect, he said, not too soft and not too hard. So we turn this canvas over and we're practicing, put in our dark. I'm and allowed that, to turn the canvas, right? Yep, sure thing. Now we're adding the middle tone. I don't do it, but no worries. Do it however you like. And now he's adding some green which is our middle tone on top of our darks, which we started with. So look what we've done. We have added some of our sea grapes in our bushes and some of our green on our palms. Um, painting skills as well as progress on the painting. This painting had a significant amount of troubleshooting and we really learned a lot. Um, as we put this beach behind there, then our um, sea oats, you know, there was enough contrast where you could actually see them. And that just did a little lesson on clouds. It's always the same, guys. You start with the dark, you add the middle tone, and then you add the highlight. Thank you for watching Landscapes You Love. Tune in next time when maybe we will have a photo of this completed 